Sometimes you have to make things a little bit more complicated. What am I getting at? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this updated flange designer, which I created. Now, the original design was back in 2017, some three years back. And what I've named this is Complex Flange Model now, because in the original version, it was parametric, and it really was based off the center opening and everything scaled, including the thickness of the flange, etc. Because I had a rental house at the time that I had a lot of pipes passing through the walls, and I needed to create flanges to seal them off. And this worked great, printed them out of TPU. However, recently a viewer wrote and said, hey, I need more control over the dynamics of the flange. Can you help me out? Well, here at OpenSCAD, we're here to help you, the viewer, out. So that's exactly what we did. And here is the code. Now, you'll be able to pick this code up off the OpenSCAD site. And again, everything is flexible and so you can see over here in the customizer pane how all the variables are defined also in the code panel on the other side if you want to change them over here that's great i happen to really enjoy when i'm working with something like this even being the open SCAD expert i am to use the customizer over here because as you see i've defined several shapes so i can do a round configuration i can do a square configuration octagon hey bob's your basically your uncle here and again you can change every aspect the other piece that i like about this that which i've changed is you can now taper the base versus the top before it was just a straight cylinder so now you can control the tapering for extra strength look whatever you want to come up with you can do that so again very flexible design the codes over here everything is pretty simple really the magic in this is in the dollar sign function command here which we can change the shape of a cylinder and then the other piece is down here obviously by being able to control the size of the base and top of each of these cylinders we can uh, control the taper actually most of the code comes in the bolt spacing code down here which I've done a video on in the past but if you're interested you can borrow this code and again create your own models so with this being said again the code will be out on the open SCAD site link below uh, if you have any requests for a you know piece of code snippet like this or a part or a model and it's not too crazy just like the license plate I'm happy to do it for you so hit me up in the comments below if you're interested and don't forget to visit our uh, DIY3dtech.com website and hey we'll catch you guys later cheers <music>